Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney here today to talk to you about Google Jamboard, specifically a couple of updates to Google Jamboard. So to demonstrate these, let me create a jam. First, notice that the tools are a lot smaller. They're rendering a lot smaller now. And so what that means is that if you have an 11 inch display, like most student Chromebooks are, you will now see the auto draw tool and you will also see the red color. But you know what? That's not what I'm most excited about. What I'm most excited about is what happens when you click any single frame of a jam. So here I'll create a new one and I'll click it. If you notice, there's a little something here in the bottom right corner. You can access this, this with your mouse or with your finger if you touch it. And I'm going to cut right to the good news, the really great news, and that's that we can have graph paper for days. And not just any graph paper. This is graph paper that's infinite. You will never, ever lose it. It also is graph paper that's collaborative. So now we can have graph, graph paper that multiple students can collaborate in in real time. How awesome is that? That to me is the big deal about backgrounds in the Google Jamboard app. Just to show you a few more and you can apply to all or just have it for one slide. You have your default regular, you have the pins there, the uh, graph paper. This is college ruled. I never liked college ruled, but okay. We have like a grid here and then blue and black. Black is really nice for a nice dark background. If you have any questions about this and specifically using graph paper for collaboration in Google Jamboard, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.